Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, April 2016 reading for the Scorpio, and I'm going to be doing a money and luck reading. Um, by the way, if you look in the description box, the link to my website is in there if you want a personalized reading with me. Um, also, go and subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel because that's where a lot of my money readings will go. So make sure that you subscribe to that channel as well as this one um, because videos will still go up on this channel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Um, this is a five card reading. And um, like I said, I'm not going to, I can't really go into detail because this is a general reading for all Scorpios. Um, and I do recommend a personalized uh, money reading. Um, so I'm just gonna look, um, just gonna shuffle. And I wanna look at the Scorpio's current foundation in money. And um, will money be coming into Scorpio's life very soon? Okay. What money opportunities, <clears throat> excuse me, um, which opportunities should Scorpio consider more closely? Okay, who or what project will bring in more money? And then just a general outcome. So, um, <clears throat> What I've been seeing a lot of in these readings is these negative energies. So we'll see how you um, deal with this in the month of April 2016. Okay. Need to drink something, y'all guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm very sleepy and trying to get these readings put up. I keep getting this three of wands. I don't know what's up with that. It's so weird. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So um, this is your current financial foundation. And you're doing a lot of research, Scorpio. Okay. You are working on a project that requires <clears throat> probably a lot of social media. So, um, you know, naturally you're having, um, it's a possibility that some of you might be having some doubts about your financial situation. Um, but other than that, I don't know who has, <clears throat> who doesn't have doubts. Um, the Three of Wands, you know, is a very positive card because this is about um, having a fresh start and achieving long-term success. And it's also about partnership um, because it's the, the three. So this is showing that you are collaborating with someone, um, <clears throat> some sort of trade. So this is actually good news. Um, and... You might want to keep your eyes open for a new career opportunities um, and because it's going to be rewarding. So um, this is showing that there's some sort of offer that's been made to you. Um, card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon? And yes, it will be. Um, not only will this money um, be financially fulfilling but it's going to also be some sort of um emotional fulfillment you know this is a really happy card because this is about um memories and family and in the pagan tarot deck <clears throat> it means success that comes i'm sorry that's the six of wands we're looking up the Six of Cups. I knew that didn't sound right. Small indulgences of the heart. So this is a definite yes. There's some money coming into your life. Will it be very soon? 
The answer is yes, but the long-term success that's indicated of this is showing that there's definitely going to be some reward and recognition and some success. Um, you might not see this success until August. It just depends on your effort. Okay? So what this card means is that there is good news coming. Though it may be conditional, this change will greatly aid your pursuit of fulfillment. So you got some good news coming up regarding money. Um, will you get fast money very soon? Yes, but I think you're going to get more money. Um, I'm, I'm seeing August for some reason. That's what this card um, this is a, Le a Leo card. The Six of Wands. So this is the fire energy. Um, so this is August. Okay, beginning of August is where I'm seeing, um, you know, this this influx of, of long-term achievement. Um, Let me move on to the next card, guys. Card number three is money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. And I got the two of swords. So for a lot of you, there's a choice. There's a crossroads um, with this two of swords. And so you're, you're, you're having some inner conflict about which direction to go, Scorpio. This is some this is balance, but this is also showing a conflict being resolved. These are decisions and peace of mind. So um, <clears throat> this is also a balance of forces, okay? Now, because it's a swords, that doesn't mean that it's you know absence of struggle. Um, but there has to be an equal distribution of force and opposition. It may indicate you are in a position to mediate a conflict. So you might be in the middle of a conflict, Scorpio. Um, or it may suggest you are caught in the middle of a dilemma with no clear outcome. So again, a crossroads. Um, so what this is saying is that... Um, There's, a, there's something else about the Two of Swords. I just want to make sure. Um, you know, you want to make sure. With this card being about partnership and balance, this is some kind of partnership with someone. This is some kind of business venture. But it shows that there's a need for give and take. And nobody is 100% right all the time. So give your partner credit. So just make sure that you're balanced. So um, this shows that there was a conflict. Okay. And you're clearing that up. And uh, judging by the other cards, it definitely shows that, you know, there was one role that wasn't very good for you. And the other one is. And I definitely do see you, Scorpio, is taking the better role because you got the six of swords so you got a lot of swords here so a lot of conflict a lot of you know anger jealousy um <clears throat> the six of swords is a wonderful card um i know it looks kind of scary i don't know why this is not straight give me a break here <laughs> Um, this is a really beautiful card, guys, because um, if you notice, you can see the horizon and you can see the smoke coming up. There's a fire. There's like a village burning, some sort of burning house. But the people on the boat are safe. They are going to something better. So whatever it is that you were having doubts about. Um, whatever project you're having doubts about, you might want to listen to yourself and take a better road because, you know, this is the Two of Swords is showing you having to make a decision. 
and it also shows um, because it's a swords you're making a conscious decision so the six of swords um, after you've made that decision is showing you getting away from that bad situation and going towards something better so this definitely means that you know if you had any financial issues previously it's gonna get better is what it means so it means that uh, the appearance of the six of swords can literally mean that your financial tide is turning for the better if you've been struggling or for the worse if you've been riding high for some time um, this is just a reminder to treat yourself um, you've been through a struggle um, this is also metaphorical movement, maybe even physical movement, okay? You're going to physically change locations during the month of April, Scorpio. Um, it could represent for some of you Scorpios an inward change, um, but it does show a slight reduction in stress and strain. So you have left the situation that was bad for you obviously because stuff is on fire there's a lot of negative energy so you're going on a journey to better pastures you're leaving it behind you're escaping those bad times and moving towards something better so that's what that means it means the challenges you will face will eventually be overcome the struggles are necessary to provide you with the growth you need to find your way to a better future um, I get the sense that some of you have already started to move away um, and, you know maybe since the end of January you've been sort of um, you know finding a way out finding a way to a better um, mental standpoint to a better future you know um, so this points to things turning for the better and just a reminder to keep your head up um you might make a decision to leave your job that no longer works for you to go to something better and you need to have trust in the universe that it's taking you where you want to be and that it's all happening for a reason Okay, um, your final card is the initiate of chalices. So um, this, the initiate, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I know a lot of people hate when I do that, <laughs> um, but I have to clear out my throat because I've got allergies. And my ears are popping. So the initiated, the initiate of chalices. This is a very, very positive card for you, Scorpio. This is a higher level of energy within the court. Okay. Um, this is the Queen of Chalices, which is a very beautiful card. This could stand for a literal person in your life. This person has experienced a lot of growth. It has a lot of wisdom. Um, this is the maturity of emotions. So this is someone very mature. And this is someone that makes very good use of her energy, which is her emotions. You know, your emotions are a manifestation of your energy. So, um, as far as with finances, it indicates good news. So, you, you're going to have some really good luck this month. No matter what is happening in your financial life, you need to give yourself a break. Ty, is that you? Ty. I don't know who that was. So, just make sure that you give yourself a break. Um, and just think positive. The Queen of Cups is 
a very positive card. Hold on, guys. Let me see what my sign is doing. Hey, Ty. Sorry, guys. That was my little one waking up. Um, okay, so Scorpio, um, this could stand for a literal person in your life. Um, they are very um, amazing. This is someone that is in your corner no matter what. They are supporting you. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it just brings a very positive energy. Okay, Scorpio. So, um, if you want a personal reading, definitely contact me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.